Good afternoon, I'm Daniel Walker, CEO of Farmers Merchants Bank. Indeed, it's a pleasure to have you here today. With the horse is the legs of the player. And as the legs of the player, if they can't get you to the ball, then you can't strike the ball. If they can't get you to a point of defense, then you can't defend the play. We have to understand that the horse itself is uh, not just one horse to play polo on. As there are four players on a team, each of the players will bring up to eight horses for one game. So there's a total of 32 horses coming down for the one team. Likewise, the other team does the same. So now we have 64 horses for one game. When the horse uh, is pulled from pasture, we have uh, to bring them in. We start with their feet. Uh, we put shoes on their feet. Uh, and the favorite part of all the ladies here is that horses get shoes every month, new shoes every month. So we need to identify what happens. run at full speed and they stop and turn, they not as lighter in the ground. This is the help. This is like a soccer player, they need spikes in the, the shoes. You know, the same, same kind of work this is true. Again. see the mane of the horses, uh, the hair on the top is cut away um, and they're more or less beautified in order to be prepared uh, and have us focus on, on the game. This morning uh, at 6 a.m. the groom arrives, uh, feeds the horse, uh, within that next hour they're completely examined from a stand of head to tail. Make sure that we have every aspect of the horse in proper condition. The horse goes for a one hour walk, uh, then comes back to the stall. On an exercise day, then they're taken out a second time. Uh, the exercise usually is uh, anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes at a full gallop. Uh, they're traveling typically uh, five miles plus during that particular time. And then from then on, uh, the horse is cared for, brushed, gets their wash every day, um, and is re-examined at the end of the day when they're fed at night. On game day, a little bit different. We build them a routine so they understand that it's game day. Secondly, they're led down to the polo field or they start to get saddled or bridled correctly here at the, at the stalls themselves. For today, we're gonna be using a pillan, the beat, which is straight bar, solid. I have in front of you uh, one of my favorite horses, Y2K, uh, born January 2nd, 2000, thus he got the name Y2K. Uh, we have two different reins. We have a draw rein and we have a regular rein in relationship to this particular bit. This is the tendon area of the horse and so what we do is we wrap it in bandages. We further wrap down lower to save him from injury and we also wrap him in the back. You can see that I have an English saddle. We actually call it a polo saddle because it is designed for polo players. The tail of the horse is also wrapped up in this particular mechanism. And the purpose of that uh, is so that the mallet uh, does not get stuck in the tail if they happen to swing their tail at the same time you're swinging the mallet. The horses uh, are then uh, taken to the game. Their adrenaline goes to the highest level. And literally, uh, I can sit on some horses for the game and they will vibrate for me underneath because their adrenaline has just gotten to the highest level. Um, it's, it's an exciting moment for both the rider and for the horse and then the game takes. Five to seven minutes later, time for a new horse. So the routine starts again and again and again and that's what we, we do with the horses. At the end of every game, one aspect that is indeed important for the care of the animal 
uh, is cooling the area of, of exposure, which is the tendon area uh, from the knee down to the hoof. Um, and you might recognize it on basketball players. How many times did we see Kobe Bryant with ice on his knees or ice on his legs in order to completely pull the heat out of those tendons? Same strategy uh, with the horses. We have uh, in this picture here, we have actually five different diets of food for the horses, by example. Uh, the the Yomalin 200 is a very high protein diet. The strategy is very high in carbohydrates. Uh, this particular hay that you're looking at looks exactly like this hay, except for this is an alfalfa hay and this is a grass hay. This particular hay here, again, very high in protein. This particular hay here has no protein in it at all. So these are the combinations that you use in order to accomplish the goal of weight, strength, uh, ability to play, and to encourage the horses to do their best. The last piece that we have here is vitamins. Vitamins are very important in relationship to how we treat ourselves as human beings or as athletes, and the same way we treat the horses. Uh, this particular bland, brand of vitamin is, is made out of uh, a vet clinic, Santa Ynez, California, Alamo Patara, and the doctors there created this particular uh, container in, in relationship to, to polo horses and performance horses uh, throughout the United States. Thank you very much for joining us here today. Uh, enjoy the polo match. Uh, we will be uh, enjoying it with you, either playing or uh, on the sidelines. We're available for questions or any other uh, thoughts that you have.